Hello Pilates lovers, welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This video is about the fundamentals of beginner's Pilates on how to engage your core muscles, proper deep breathing exercises, and gentle stretching for those who are just starting. So get your mat ready and join me and my cousin Mades who is just also a beginner. So let's lie down on your back, engage your core muscles, trying to remember to take a deep breath through your nose, pull your stomach in, imagine not to pee to engage your bladder, to so take a deep breath and blow through your mouth, again take a deep breath through your nose, blow through your mouth, and now we're gonna warm up to tabletop, you're gonna bend your knee like a 90 degrees so it looks like a table not too close to your chest and then slowly lower your leg down while breathing through your nose inhale pull your stomach in engage your core and gently go down i have my cousin with me behind me she's a beginner so she's gonna try to catch up with my exercise program and gently follow through the protocol so inhale through your nose left leg tabletop Pull your stomach in and slowly and steady lower it down. The slower the better. If you do this slowly, you're engaging your core muscles more and you're doing more muscle contraction. Left leg, tabletop, inhale through your nose. Pull your stomach in and down blow. Right leg, inhale through your nose, tabletop, 90 degrees and slowly go down blow. Take a deep breath through your nose. Bend your knee, belly button in, engaging your core muscles and down. Inhale through your nose, tabletop, engage your core, belly button in, making sure your back is to neutral spine. So I just place one of my hand at the small of my back, keeping my back in a small arch position. If it's your back is flattening, that's not good. You want a neutral spine Engaging your core. I'm holding my stomach area, feeling my core engagement. So feel it, one hand on your stomach and one at the small of the back while doing tabletop. Again, take a deep breath, bend your left leg, tabletop, slowly go down and blow. One breath is one motion. Now right leg and down blow. Left leg, still feeling my core making sure the fundamentals of Pilates is being engaged. Inhale through your nose, and now we're gonna do with hip abduction, slowly lowering your right leg down, making sure your back is not twisting. So I'm keeping my hips planted on the mat. So left leg, take a deep breath, tabletop, and then lower to the side, hip abduction, back to the center and down blow. Gently lower your knee to the side, right leg down and blow. Take a deep breath up and down back again and blow. Left leg, take a deep breath, tabletop, lower to the side, blow. Inhale through your nose and down back, blow. Right leg up, take a deep breath, down to the side, blow. Inhale up and back to the center, blow. Inhale through your nose, down to the side, inhale through your nose, and down blow. Keeping your core engaged, belly button in, blow to the side, back to the center, and blow. Tabletop again with your left, down blow to the side, inhale up to the center, and down blow. Right leg, inhale through your nose, down to the side, inhale up, and down blow. Left leg, we're almost done with our tabletop. Blow to the side, feel a lovely stretch, bend and down. You will feel a lovely stretch on your hip muscles and your hamstrings. 
and your hip flexors. Take a deep breath, warming up your core muscles. Left leg inhale, down to the side. Inhale through your nose and blow. Now we're gonna do some hamstring stretching, right leg first, keeping your knee straight. So my desk, my cousin is behind me. And if it's hard for you to keep your knee straight, it's fine. She's a little bit lower, which is normal for beginners. And we're doing ankle pumps, taking deep breaths through your nose and blow through your mouth. And now we're doing circles, clockwise first. And then we're gonna do counterclockwise and taking deep breaths through your nose and blow through your mouth, engaging your core muscles, making sure you're not pulling your low back area. Take a deep breath. Try to keep your legs straight as much as you can. And if this is difficult, you can always lower your leg a little bit. Slowly make a gentle circle clockwise 10 times. Inhale through your nose. Slowly breathe through your mouth and blow. Make circles. Take a deep breath through your nose. Blow through your mouth. The slower the better. The more control, the more core engagement. Always remember, it's not about the speed. It's about the control of your legs. We go down. Now we're gonna stretch first on your left leg, keeping your knee straight. If your knees are buckled, like my desk behind me, it's fine because it's your first time. So we're gonna do ankle pumps. Take a deep breath, pulling as much as you can. If you can't reach your ankle or your leg, it's okay to keep it up for now for beginners. And now we're doing circles. Taking deep breath through your nose and blow. You can also bend your right knee to support your spine if you're having back pain. But for those who can keep your knee down and stretch, you can join me. Take a deep breath and let go of your hand and small circles, engaging your core muscles, making sure that you are not twisting your spine and not rocking your hips. The slower, the better for your core muscles engagement. Inhale through your nose and blow through your mouth. Small circles. The smaller, the better for now. So for beginners, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality of your range of motion and your control. Slowly go down now and blow. Bend your knees. You're going to take a deep breathing and butterfly. So we're going to slowly separate your knees apart keeping your back in neutral spine. So I place one hand at the small of the back, one at my stomach, making sure I'm engaging my core muscles. So inhale through your nose and blow. Inhale, open, pull your stomach in and blow. Inhale, belly button in and blow. I'm not pressing my back on my hand that's behind me, making sure I'm in neutral spine. Take a deep breath. You feel a lovely stretch on your hip groin area and blow. Inhale through your nose and blow. Pulling your stomach in, engaging your core, taking deep breaths and blow. Inhale and blow. And side to side, hip stretch to release any low back pain or tightness. So you're gonna turn to the side and back to the center and blow just to release before we do our next exercise, which is our bridging. So take a deep breath and slowly turn and twist and blow. Inhale and blow. Love the stretch. What a beautiful day here to enjoy this lovely Pilates. Now we're gonna do some scissoring, alternating right leg and left hand and reach and then slowly go down. You feel a lovely stretch on your hands, shoulders, and elbows, as well as your hips, knees, and ankles. Pulling your toes facing you, right hand alternating with your left opposite. So right hand and left foot touching. If you can't reach your toes, 
it's fine so you can check Mades at the back she's trying to reach on her toes it's okay if she can't touch your, her knees for now for beginners so usually for beginners it's really tight on your hamstrings for now and your back and I don't want you to strain your low back area so just do it gently as much as you can so take a deep breath right leg and left hand take a deep breath through your nose engage your core muscles and blow then then slowly go down with control so I'm slowly lowering it try not to plop your foot down on the mat so inhale through your nose alternating and down slowly blow inhale through your nose and down blow Whew, that's a lovely core workout and now we're gonna do some bridging bend your knees and slowly lift your buttocks off the mat engage your core muscles pull your stomach in squeeze your butt cheeks and then try to open your ribcage flare as high as you can and then slowly lower yourself one vertebrae at a time touching the mat so inhale through your nose up pull your stomach in squeeze your butt cheeks and then slowly blow through your mouth one vertebrae at a time so inhale through your nose up pull your stomach in squeeze your butt cheeks and then slowly lower your buttocks one vertebrae at a time touching the mat gently so the slower the better try not not to plop on the mat be safe and steady so take a deep breath through your nose and up pull your stomach in squeeze your butt cheeks and blow through your mouth and slowly go down one vertebrae at a time take a deep breath pull your stomach in squeeze as hard as you can pull and slowly go down one vertebrae at a time take a deep breath up pull your stomach in squeeze as hard as you can and slowly go down and blow <sighs> inhale up through your nose blow squeeze as hard as you can and now we're gonna do some progression on our bridging and for those who had hard time progressing it's fine you don't have to do the next progression and then slowly go down and blow inhale through your nose and up squeeze as hard as you can you might feel a lot of burning sensation on your buttocks and if you're having more back pain stop and don't continue with this and rest take a deep breath up pull your stomach in and slowly go down and blow take a deep breath up squeeze as hard as you can and open your knees apart so this is the progression it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for beginners still and then slowly go down if you can't open your knees apart just continue with the gentle bridging exercises and open close and slowly go down one vertebrae at a time take a deep breath up open close and slowly go down and blow inhale through your nose we're almost done open close and slowly go down and blow engage your core muscles the fundamentals of beginners pilates is to keep our core muscles engaged our diaphragm is engaged more when you take deep breaths and when you pull your stomach in and imagine not to pee you are engaging your bladder which is kegels and part of our pelvic floor muscles and we are doing a cooling down now we're almost done close and slowly go down we're gonna do a gentle stretch our piriformis one ankle you start with your left push your knee down and stretch your piriformis muscle lovely stretch after all those lovely bridging and blow through your mouth relax the muscles and lift and hug your knees together so you're gonna feel a lovely stretch on your piriformis that got tight and sore so hold it for a few more breaths inhale 
and blow so we're stretching our left side for now and then slowly go down now your right foot on your left knee and that's it for now i upload videos every wednesdays fridays and sundays another lovely pilates and yoga fusion i'm hoping this video will help you feel stronger and healthier please like and subscribe my channel bell for future updates just like this one until next time have a great and healthier you bye